Hi kids, welcome to a special edition of Bailey's Choice. We're doing uh, finger food, party sandwiches, just a quickie quickie. I've got lots of cool stuff already hanging out here. We're doing it all with those wontons. Live for them. We're making little sandwiches, okay? I've got four wontons here. We're going to do them like ravioli. Let me do my first filling. This is just one hard boiled egg with a tablespoon of mayonnaise and black pepper. I'm going to fill up one. We're going to have a little bit of leftover of each of these, so if they all turn out good, I'll make a, probably a second one of each, but you don't need to see that. Okay, make it to the square. Do you see what I'm doing? You're going to probably want to come a little closer. Let's see what I'm doing. Okay, that's going to be the egg salad. Let's do another one, peanut butter and jelly. This is a scoop of peanut butter. And I actually tried this earlier with jelly. Let me tell you what happened. I wasn't ready for that jelly. Okay. The jelly is, uh, it turned into like juice. So what I did instead was take one frozen strawberry and mince it up, mix it with the peanut butter. Okay? Mmm. I think delicious. All right, let's get another one. We're doing BLT. I need a spoonula. Now this is just uh, a little bit, it's two pieces of turkey bacon that I cooked up and then sliced up fine. Uh, and a slice of tomato, just a tad bit of mayonnaise. Mayonnaise is not going to hold up well on these little sandwichy thingies that I'm doing, right? So I did just a little bit of mayonnaise for the flavor and about a tablespoon of cream cheese. And then I did this all up in the um, in my food processor. And then we're going to do an adult grilled cheese. Okay. So I've got American cheese, one slice. But I want to, I cut it into fourths, the one slice. Okay. And I just want it to be real cheesy in here. But you got to leave room around the edges. A little bit of onion butt on that. And then I also grilled up just a couple slices of red onion to go in here. How fancy and cool, huh? The idea is, you know, just a smorgasbord of sandwiches to take to lunch. Let's get these ones going. I've got one more. Actually, let's get that one going, too, so that I can just put them all in there and show you. Then we're going to make a couple little dessert poppers, too. Okay. Now, this is, I haven't mixed this one up, but it's roast beef, deli roast beef. I'll put it in there to where it fits in the square. There's some horseradish and mozzarella cheese, and I'm going to just kind of mash that down. <laughs> so gross. Make sure you wash your hands and do it often. Okay, now I'm going to put the other piece of roast beef on here. You just want to make sure you keep it all in that little square in the center. Okay, other piece of roast beef, a little bit more of the mozzarella. That one is going to give me a heartache, I can already tell you, but it's going to be good. So there we go. Squares. Who you calling a square? I got an egg wash. Let's turn this pan on. Uh, let's turn it on. Light. We're just going to saute these up. We're going to egg wash and fork. Alright? I'll show you the technique on one. Put a piece of uh, egg going in that bad boy. Alright, so you put the top over. Take a fork, fork the edges down where the egg wash was. You want to make sure you close it in. Don't poke any holes in it though. Okay? Just move your cutting board around. And I have a paper towel down on this cutting board so the wontons didn't get wet. Don't pop a hole. It's not as bad if you're pan sauteing it like we're doing. If you were deep frying it, the, the hole would really just ruin it. Okay. Get this one going. This is the egg salad. Are you enjoying this so far? I mean, it's pretty effing cool. The egg salad, you want to be careful because that one will melt up too because it's actually got just the mayonnaise and then the egg. Fork it. So you're kind of making like big old raviolis, right? Fork it. I'm going at this angle that's totally a hole popping angle, so don't do what I did. Unless you were fantastically experienced like I am. L-O-L. -L. Okay. Get this bad boy forked. Fork you. 
mother forker. All right, this BLT is going to be like a heartache, I can already tell you. And I don't mean a heart attack. I mean, look, it's so full. So I get that pan nice and warm that they're going to go into. We're going to try our best with this one, kids, but I really think it's going to, um, I'm going to try to kind of just use my fingers to get this one at the very edges because it's too close to all the edges to fork it. So I got magic fingers. Mama always told me I had magic fingers. I could do anything when I grew up. And look, here I am, growed up. My magic fingers can make sandwiches. I'm a magic sandwich maker. Uh, no, I'm not on crack. Okay. This is called being giddy as a creative person. Okay. Damn it. Give me my freedom. Okay. This one's just going to be kick butt. It's the grilled cheese. This pan is getting real hot, so we need to hurry and get the other bad boy in there. Okay. Okay. I got another pat of butter. I'm going to throw it in there now. Um, it's okay for the wontons to sit out as long as they're staying dry. What? Alright, this one doesn't want to stick together. So work it harder. Alright, this one's going to be a heartache too. Look at it. And while those are sauteing up, we're going to make some fancy little dessert wonton crunchies. I've got some canola, canola, I can't talk. Welcome to my Hooked on Phonics class. Um, in the back I have canola oil heating up and we're going to make some deep fried ones. Okay, this butter's hot and screaming at me. Let's get these bad boys in there. Come on, last but not least. This one is going to need a good mashing. This is the roast beef. Roast beef and horseradish. Best combo ever. I've actually found roast beef feta cheese and horseradish is the best. But I didn't have any feta, so I went with what I had. Mozzarella is going to have to do. Okay. Stick. 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 Just wait till you see how cool these are. They're a little like... I guess it's kind of where Hot Pockets came from. I guess I'm not soups original. Alright. That is a hot mother. Let's get them in. Okay. We got four going here. It's popping. It's popping. Alright, let's get these, uh, real quick, I'm going to make these little Reese's ones. You hear those popping? They don't need long. I'm gonna get them crunchy on both sides. And you wanna be able to open these for the one times. Might be able to make three Reese's, we don't know yet. Alright. Flip these. So freaking cool. You could definitely deep fry these too, but uh, when you do that, you run the risk of everything leaking out like hardcore. Do you see how cool they look in here? Or little, little pockets. Alright. I got these white chocolate Reese's that I cut up. I'm going to put these in the center and smush them. Come on down and take a look, sis. i got to hurry it up. Center and smush it. Okay? Alright, just for now because I don't have a place to put these. Take this out, move them over to this pan, pop this guy in. Take him out. Ow. Move him over to this pan. Take this one out. Ow. Burn my face off in the process. Take this one out. These are good to go. Let them cool down. I'm going to cut them open, and you're going to be like, really? Did you just do that? You're sort of my hero. All right. Are you back on these? Uh white chocolate Reese wontons, do the egg wash, do the egg wash, that oil back there is so soups hot, like you don't even know, so look, we're going to make a fancy design, come up to the top here, and plug it together, bring the side in, plug it together, kind of making like a little four cornered thing, 
and do it here too. Do it while it's still wet and then we can go in and mold it when it's just a second. Let's get this one going and let's flip this bad boy while he's in there. Cool. Really cool. You should always have these wontons on hand, I'm telling you. Okay, just make sure this is all sticking together and then make them into little, like, kind of, you know, stick everything together so it's just going to be this cute little thing when it comes out. And then you can eat it. Okay. There we go. Pop them in the oil. Watch out. It's going to be loud. They don't need long in there. Literally, look, how long was that that they needed? They're dark, that's what I'm trying to tell you, but they're done. I just can't find my, ah, my tongs. A little too done, if you ask me. They got a little burnt it. But, look. Insane. Completely done. Now, I'm going to show you these sandwiches, okay? Look at this. I'm going to cut them all open. I'm going to show you the non-burnt side of these Reese's. All right. Ah, poopy. One. So good. So good. It's kind of exciting, and it's kind of, like, cool. Like, hey, late night, I want, a, I want all these different sandwiches. Look at how easy. And you're using so little food, too, you know? You're not wasting much when you're making just tiny ones. Okay. Cut this one open. Look. Oh, that's the BLT. <laughs> mm. This is amazing. Seriously, I'm just going to open a restaurant. This is all we do. All right, let's get this going. Come on. What's this one, huh? Mm, that's the grown-up grilled cheese. Mm. Mm-hmm. Grilled onion, gooey American cheese. Phenomenal. Alright, look at that. The roast beef and the mozzarella and horseradish. I'm doing like a nerdy little dance. These are all so good. And I totally think I'm a genius now. This is the egg salad. Okay. Mmm. And you've been waiting for this one. The peanut butter jelly, yeah? Mmm. Don't use real jelly. Use a frozen berry. The real jelly will kill it. Alright. You're burnt, but... Mmm. White chocolate and peanut butter on the inside. Look at that, though. That was pretty fantastic, huh? I'm going to finish these all up. You know the kids aren't going to see these. <laughs> Sorry. All right. Listen, y'all, thanks for coming and spending a little bit of time with me. This has been Bailey's Choice. I've made my choices. Some pretty fantastic ones. You go out and make yours. Try to make some smart ones, okay? Don't be calling me at 2.30 in the morning. Need me to pick you up because I walk. My broom's in the shop. Anyway, yeah, go out and make some choices and uh, come back. Same time next week.